is he doing? Can I see him? He grabbed it, he grabbed it, he grabbed it, he grabbed it. All right, here we go. Ice check, December 3rd, 2024. Something's been out there, an animal or something. First impressions, gosh, it feels, oh, oh. Okay, <laughs> it's not very thick. It just started splitting on me. Oh yeah, that's not thick at all. holding me though. That's about two, two and a half inches. A little borderline for my liking. Transition area right here we gotta watch out for. Wish I wouldn't have gained those few extra pounds this year. Following my safe line here, I'm not gonna move off of this. It should be safe on this line. So this is right where I'm gonna stay. You can hear it cracking and popping a little bit underneath me. That's not ideal. Wow, look at that sunrise. That is something. See my safety line that I drilled out here yesterday when I was testing this. Hey everybody, welcome to Backroads Angling. So we're hitting some really thin first ice here. We've got, it's got about two and a half inches underneath me, but it is solid. We're shooting for some big bluegill, crappie or bass. Um, this is one of my favorite ponds. So it's got thinner ice than the, the rest of the ponds that I checked, but it's kind of the, the primo spot. So I wanted to come here first, see if we can maybe get on a big crappie or some Nice bluegills have caught a lot of 10 inches out of here in the past. And there's some, you know, okay bass. This gets slow, or if, uh, if we're not catching much, we'll move to someplace else. Thanks everybody for watching. Let's catch some first ice fish. That's not too bad. I feel better about it than I did yesterday. Yesterday I came here, it was kind of warm. <clears throat> and, I don't know, it was seemed like it was a little bit borderline yesterday, but today, I don't know, it's kind of okay, I think. And oh boy, they're, they're under me now, they're under me. Okay, let's see how, how body they are, I'll just go with the, oh boy, look at that, look at that school underneath me. Holy crap. Let's, I'm not even gonna put a wax worm on, let's see if they'll eat the plastic. Fish everywhere. See if they're bitey. That spooked him off. Come on. This one's gonna eat it for sure. He didn't. Oh, ho, 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 look at that! He touched it and went away. There, I got him. All right. out of here. Oh, I see him. It is a bluegill. I thought that might have been a crappie, but bluegill. Didn't bring my bump more today, so we're not going to be able to tell if we got 10 inches. Look at, that. Look at all the fish down below me looking for me. It's a bluegill on a soft plastic. Real nice bluegill, but they'll get bigger. They'll get bigger ones. Look at all the fish down there waiting for me. <clears throat> there goes that fish shooting off. Drop it right in the middle of them. Now we've got their attention. That other big fish that was cruising in could have been a crappie. Oh, here comes one up. He's gonna eat it. Yep. See him down there. You guys see him fighting? Oh, now we get him in the transducer. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That is a big one. Look at that guy, huh? Really nice. I'm just getting him on a little tungsten and a soft plastic. We'll switch over to 
wax worms here inside. There's a bigger fish down there. Oh, there's, there's something bigger cruising in. Noticeably bigger. Right on the bottom. Let's put a wax worm on there. Usually, live bait as a whole, they have a whole different attitude towards it when you're ice fishing. Just a little bit of wax worm. And let's see if they have a different attitude towards it when they can smell it. And they are holding tight to bottom. This guy's gonna crush it. Yep. Makes it a little bit easier having that scent on there. And it was a little guy. <laughs> we got the smallest fish, smallest bluegill in the pond. Yeah, we gotta go that way. Probably spook him when we drill, but. There's a big school of them coming in, see that? I might not have to move actually. I think they'll come to me. Here they come, they're like, whoop, just fell in the mud, and then I'm gonna rise it up. Somebody's gonna get excited, watch this. Somebody's gonna get excited. Oh yeah, the whole boy. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Over anticipated, he's coming back, this guy wants it. Yeah, he was coming back all the time. He was gonna come back. Man, we're getting some smalls here. I mean, that's not a bad bluegill, but for here it's small. But the rest of that school below me, we're gonna go back in. Just doing some big pops to try and get them, get their attention, get them moving this direction. They're starting to move. Oh, something's coming up underneath me. Something's coming up from underneath. Uh, got him. Slightest little tap. I don't think we're really getting into the big ones yet. Yeah, I don't know where the big ones are. That one's not bad, actually. That one's pretty good. Getting there. That's more, a little closer to the size that we want, but still not huge. Okay. Lost my wax worm. Now we got the mother load below us. I'm still here. Stay there. Stay there. Here I come. Oh, there's one going to race in and eat it, I bet. Here it comes. Oh yeah, don't let it get away, dude. Waiting for the tap. There it is. A little bit bigger fish here. A little bigger fish. Yeah, this one's gonna be bigger. Eh, maybe a little bigger. It's a pretty big bold bluegill. I think we'll get bigger ones, but he's probably pretty close to nine and a half or so, nine and a half inches. So one thing we've got to be aware of is there's a rope right there. See that rope coming down? That's coming off that buoy, so we got to be careful of that. I'm real close to it. See something up high. I get my line untangled. He's way up here close to the ice. Come here, bud. Be a crappie. What's he doing clear up here? He's only about five feet under the ice. He's going to come right underneath me. He's right underneath me right now. He is right underneath me. I think he might eat this. Come on, bud. What if I just pause it? I got the whole school coming underneath me. But I can get, get one out of that school. Oh, look at the school coming underneath me. Oh yeah, we'll get one of these. Probably the smallest one in the bunch. I 
gonna make me pull my transducer out. Oh, oh crappie, 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 crappie. Oh yeah, baby. Big crappie, look at that guy. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> that is awesome. Look at that, huh? Slabaruski. Probably a 12 and a half, 13 inch. That's what I'm talking about. Really nice fish. Heck yeah. See ya, bud. All right, a little first ice tank crappie right there. Oh, here we go, bud, come on. Some smaller ones on bottom that I don't want to see it because they'll probably come up and eat it. There he is, he's right under the ice again. Five feet under. I'm not gonna talk anymore, I'm just gonna let, let him come in. Gosh, he's a big mark. Look at him, look at the size of him compared to the rest of them. He's smart. Will he chase it down? He's right here, he's right here. I might be able to see him, he's running right the hole. He's right below me. This is crazy, he's right below me. Oh man, this is frustrating. That's gotta be a big crappie. But, or a bass, I mean, it could be a bass, but the shape of him looks kinda almost like square shape, you know? He's still there. It's just so hard, because they can hear me moving above them. Hear me and see me now that the sun's out. What's that? There's a fish sitting next to that rope, I think. He's sitting right on that rope, see that? I don't know. I didn't see it there before. There's a fish right underneath me. I think that's a fish. It's really stationary. It's just really static. It's not moving. Cannot get it to move. This is definitely a fish. And he's moving very, very close to my lure. He's not kissing it yet, but he's right there. Holy crap. I mean, I couldn't be any closer to him. He's right underneath me. What is he doing? Can I see him? He grabbed it, he grabbed it, he grabbed it, he grabbed it. He grabbed it. Oh, it's a huge crappie. Oh my gosh, it's a huge crappie. Dang, did you see that, folks? That was weird. He's a little bit lean looking. Man, that was weird. He just sat there and stared at me forever. I could see my jig down there. I was trying to see, I was trying to look down the hole and see if I could see him. I mean, he's probably, is he about the same size as the other one? The other one seemed a lot smaller. He's like right there. You can see that. Pretty big fish. Pretty good one. Caught one earlier that was 13. And there he goes. And, but this this way he moved slow, man. Jeez, he just would not move. I was looking down my hole because he was like three or four feet underneath the ice. And I looked down and I could not quite see him and then I just felt him. <laughs> I should have been able to see him though because I could see my jig and then all of a sudden he was just there, so. Oh, here comes one. Yeah, this guy likes it. Yep, he liked it. Tough to get him to bite. Oh, what's that? Another crappie, awesome. 
Smaller crappies. I never caught smaller crappies. They must be reproducing. That's good. Little guy. I usually don't get small ones out of here, so small bluegills and small crappie today. That's good to see sometimes too.